Hello everyone. Welcome back to Code Campus. Today we are diving into Task Five from Level Two of our Python Development Internship at Cognizant Technologies. We will be exploring a Python program that counts occurrences of each word in a text file and displays the result. Let's dive into how this program efficiently processes text files and handles exceptions. Now I'm just making a Python file. I'm giving it the name File Manipulation. You can give it any. At first, we are implementing a while loop to continuously prompt the user for a file name until a valid file is not found or the user opts to stop. Within the loop, we attempt to count the word occurrences in the specified file using the count word occurrences and we giving the file name as parameter. Here we will define the function later. Again, we use another function display word count and we are passing the word count as parameter. This function will display the word counts and uh, I will define it later. And after that, we just simply break and end the loop. If the file is not found, then the exception block is generated. We catch the exception, inform the user, file not found, and ask if they want to enter another file name. The lower function converts the input into lowercase. If the choice is not yes, means not Y, then we simply break out of the loop, effectively ending the program. Now, let's just define the functions. So to begin, so to define the function, we at first need to input the string module. This module provides various string constants and functions, including string punctuation, which we will use to strip punctuation from the words during word counting process. Next, we define the function count word occurrences. This function takes file name as parameter and aims to count occurrences of each word in the specified text file. Here, I'm declaring a dictionary named word counts. Within the try except block, we attempt to open the file. With open, we are here giving the file name and the R means we can only read the text file. We cannot modify it. Next, if the file is found, we iterate through each line and split it into words using line dot split. Next, for each word, we strip any leading or trailing punctuation and updates its count in the word counts dictionary using word count. If the specified file is not found, then the catch block executed and it catches the exception and print an error message that file not found. Please make sure that the file exists and then return none to indicate an issue with the file retrieval. Next, we will be defining the function display word count. Here it takes one parameter word counts. This parameter is expected to be a dictionary where the keys are the words and the values are the counts of how often each word appears. Next, we create a new list, sorted word counts by sorting the items of the word counts dictionary. Here, word counts dot items returns a list of key value pairs or tuples from the dictionary. The sorted function sorts these items based on the key, which is the word in this case. Here the lambda function used as a sorting key. Here x or within third bracket zero refers to the word means the key in each tuple. 
and the dot lower converts the word to lower case to ensure case insensitive spotting next this line starts a for loop that iterates through each word count pair in the sorted list the loop assigns the word to the variable word and the count to the variable count inside the loop then we print each word and its count in in a formatted way the if before the string indicates that it is an if string which allows us to include the values of the variables directly within the string by enclosing them in curly braces so that's all now let me just make a text file and i'm making a text file odbrija.txt and here i'm writing hello coders welcome to code campus hope you enjoyed this video and let's just add another line thank you for watching now let's just save it and then go to the file manipulation file and i'm going to run it so it is asking me the file name i'm giving the file name odvija.txt and look here it is providing me all the word counts here only the u comes twice so so it is showing two and the other word comes only once so the rest all are one that's all you have just explored a python program that counts occurrences of each words in text file demonstrating file handling string manipulation and exception handling techniques and here i have completed all the five tasks of level 2 and uh, next week we will be covering level 3 i will be covering only one program of level 3 because that's needed and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to code campus for more programming tutorials and internship task guides drop any questions or suggestions in the comments below thank you for watching and happy coding see you in the next video